Hello friends, in my this video, I am going to discuss about pole zero pulse cancellation, which is one of the very important topic, and I am going to discuss in MATLAB. Okay, so see what the idea is. The idea is, suppose I have one uh, pole zero plot like this. Suppose this is okay. This is not good. Let me draw the unit circle again. So suppose I have the unit circle like this okay and now i have one pole outside the unit circle at this particular point so the system is unstable system so i have to make this particular system a stable system suppose this is a okay so what is the transfer function 1 by z minus a and a is something which is greater than one okay from this particular uh, pole uh, that is jet plane representation we can say the transfer function look like this now you know what pole does pole always try to increase the magnitude response and zero affects in the reverse way zero always try to decrease the magnitude response so pole can be effect of pole can be nullified by a zero at the same position so what we will do we will place z minus a in the numerator that is we will place a zero at the same location same position so if we place one zero here what will happen the effect of pole will be nullified by the effect of zero as a result the overall system will become a stable system so this is the concept of pole zero cancellation and this is how we can make an unstable system stable for this particular discussion i am taking one uh, system having this particular uh, transfer function h of j is equal to 3 plus 4.5 z to the power minus 1 by 1 plus 1.5 z to the power minus 1 minus of 2 1 minus 0 0.5 z to the power minus 1 now if we simplify this particular transfer function we will get see lots of simplifications uh, just simple steps if you follow you will get this particular function that is z plus 1.5 into z minus 1.5 in the numerator and in the denominator z plus 1.5 into z minus 0 0.5 so how our pole zero plot will look like very simple see at z equal to minus 1.5 and z equal to 1.5 two zeros so one zero at 1.5 one zero at minus of 1.5 and at z equal to minus of 1.5 one pole and at j equal to 0 0.5 one pole so here one pole at j equal to 0 0.5 and at j equal to minus 1.5 there is one pole observe this particular position here at minus 1.5 there is one zero there is one pole so as a result although there is one pole outside the system but the system will become a stable system okay because the pole and zero will nullify the effect of each other okay so I can show you the MATLAB code for the pole zero plot but in a tricky way I will do see here two polynomials we have to multiply in the numerator same goes for denominator now I already told you earlier while discussing convolution that convolution can be used to multiply two polynomials that concept I will use instead of directly multiplying by hand I will use the convolution property for this particular transfer function z plane determination so this is our transfer function h of z is equal to z minus 1.5 into z plus 1.5 by z minus 0 0.5 into z plus 1.5 so what we will do simple code clc clear all close all then write the first polynomial 1 and minus 1.5 will be the coefficient and another one will be 1 comma 1.5 so i have written here 1 1.5 1 minus 1.5 now we have to multiply these two so what i have written c equal to conf a comma b same goes for denominator 1 minus 0 0.5 1 comma 1.5 so two polynomials i have defined here and i have multiplied those two using con so in the c the numerator coefficients are stored in the d denominator coefficients are stored now if i perform z plane c comma d i will get the pole zero plot like this 
here you can see clearly as i have discussed in theory same goes for practical implementation of jet plane also same position of pole and zero here at minus 1.5 this particular pole and zero are cancelling each other and here one pole is there which is inside unit circle and here one zero is there so uh, as a result in the whole system although there is one pole outside the unit circle but zero is cancelling that so as a result the whole system becomes a stable system so this is how you can make one uh, system where pole is outside the unit circuit place one zero at the same location and you can make the system stable but this particular approach although it works fine or perfectly in the theory but in practical implementation it can be a huge mistake okay it can come up with a huge mistake suppose my pole is at minus of 1.5 and due to due and due to some numeric uh, numeric precision my zero comes at minus of 1.499 then also the effect of pole is not completely nullified by the effect of zero as a result problem will occur this system will become unstable system okay so for numeric precision purpose this particular approach is not always followed in practical but theoretically it works fine so this is one of the concept very simple concept i want to tell okay so this is all for my this video thank you for watching